In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Lightroom's Fill Light slider in the Develop module to improve photos such as this one. This is an example where the light is coming mostly from the back and the face, or in this case a foreground, is too dark. I'm going to come over here. I'm in the right panel under the basic pane and I'm just going to start right away by moving the Fill Light slider over. And you can see what happens right in the mid-tone areas around his face and his clothes. I don't want to go too far. I'm going to enlarge this image. I'm going to click on it so I can see better what's going on. And actually, I'm going to go too far to the right. And you're going to see one of the consequences of applying too much fill light. It gives it a solarized look that's not very pleasant. Also, it really enhances the noise in the shadow areas. So let me bring this back down a little bit. I just have to get that so it looks right. I don't go too far with it. Okay, what about right about there? So you can see that by opening up these shadow areas, I've really also introduced a lot of noise. One of the things about Lightroom 3 that I absolutely love is the ability to go in and really do some serious noise reduction with the luminance slider. So I'm going to go into the detail pane. I'm going to move my luminance slider over. I don't want to go too far. If I go really far, you can see what happens. I lose all the detail, and it really doesn't look very realistic. So I'll move that back down. I'm finding a balance here. All right. And if I want, I can move the detail slider over a little bit to the right. It's going to bring back a little bit more noise, but it's also giving me a little more sharpness in the fine detail areas around the teeth there and the hair. So again, this is just a matter of taste, getting it right. And not going too far. Let me show you what this looks like in a before and after view. So you can see there's a huge difference there using the fill light in conjunction with noise reduction. I'm going to turn this noise reduction off so you can see what difference that makes. I just turn this switch off and you can see that there's a lot of noise there that's introduced with the fill light slider. Now I do have a picture that's much better simply only by moving that fill light slider and applying some noise reduction in Lightroom 3.